Hey everybody, good morning. So, look, X Delete is fantastic. I've had a lot of fun playing with it, but I want to know why I had to buy it and what's going on with my my all drive. Um, let me give you a little history on it, just in case you've never watched any of my videos. Uh, I had I left my wind my sunroof open, and when I did that, I mean I, I literally only left it just in the vent position. Okay, it was just sitting there in the vent, but it rained, and I got a lot of water in there. The next day, I went to go drive it, and I, as soon as I started it, I had those the trifecta air of uh, the ABS light, four four by four light, and and uh, traction control light. So I was like, "What the heck?" You know, normally, that's I had that issue before, but it was the battery. What's crazy is that that warning light can be for a lot of things. It's mainly just letting you know that there's an electrical issue that is related to your traction control system and that it is not functioning at that time. So, um, my thought was, was because I left that up, then moisture must have got to the module, which is supposedly... So, the module should be under here somewhere. So, I but... They say you gotta pull up the carpet, and they say you also should remove this right here, this uh, cover, and then you'll be removing this trim and this trim. Uh, but they say it's under here somewhere, and I, I just don't, I don't know. Um, we're gonna find out. I'm go like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into getting this carpet out. I might have to remove the seat just to make it a little easier, because I figure. You know, if I could remove the seat, then I could just pull the carpet from this way and not have to, because it's right here. It's supposed to be right here. So I, I don't know why I would pull it from over here. Why can't I just remove the seat and then pull it up right here? So I might just do that because that looks like that's going to be a lot easier. Hey, everybody. So I just wanted to let you know, um, on Wednesday, no, I'm sorry, on Thursday, uh, me and AJ are gonna play a little game with that hot sauce. We're not moving up to the next level because I'm still waiting on y'all to get 500 likes on this here video that I just pointed at. Um, so go ahead and get those 500 likes. But until then, we're gonna go ahead and uh, play a little game with that. My question is, is if one drops six million, how many six drops? Is it a million per extra drop? I don't know. But we're gonna find out. We're probably gonna draw cards, see how many, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So uh, remember, go ahead to that video, hit the like button, need to get 500, but remember, look out for it because I'm gonna go live as well on Instagram. So if you're not a part of my Instagram, get a part of it. It's uh, at, Southern, at Southern underscore gears. So join me, it's gonna be a, lot, a blast. And if you don't have Instagram, don't worry. It's only gonna be a couple hours after that and the real video will be out. So, all right, let's get to this. So, got the seats unbolted and she thinks she's gonna hop in the seat and hold it down for me. I'm definitely gonna vacuum out when I'm here because Lucy has provided a lot of hair up underneath here. So this would be a plus, I might go ahead. It was so easy to do this. I might just go ahead and do that to the driver's side too because it's so hard to get down in there. One of the main things I hate about this BMW though is these damn speakers underneath the seat. It's so weird. I'll have a song that hits a bass note and I'll think something's wrong with the car because freaking, there's one underneath the driver's side too. It's so dumb. Uh, yeah, but got to undo this screw, this screw, and then we can lift this cover up. It's going to be so much easier to get to. So hopefully it's right where it's supposed to be. Okay, so there she is. Uh, that cover sits in place right over it. So you just remove that cover and there she is. So I can already tell you that there some moisture did get to it. So I'm trying to hold this thing back at the same time lucy why can't you hold this for me okay so you see this it's got a little stuff right here and let's see show you there. right up here on the front right there you can see a little bit of moisture right there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull these connections off see if there's any corrosion on them hopefully i can clean them up hopefully i don't have to disassemble this and you know try to clean up any corrosion inside there uh, but for now i'm just gonna look at these connectors and see what's going on so it doesn't appear there's any corrosion on the pins, as far as I can tell, which is good, uh, but that might be bad. Uh, we 
are going to have to come into this box and see what's inside there. See if there's any corrosion. Yeah. Okay. So we got that. And hopefully this comes apart easily. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I, you could definitely see something that happened right here. So that would have been right over here on this side. But I'm pleased to say I don't see... Yeah, I don't see any corrosion or anything. Let me pull up my light, though, and get a good look down up in there. Okay. So, yeah, I don't see anything. Visually, that's a problem. So, that's either good or bad. I don't know. But I definitely saw something. So, I'm going to put some dielectric grease uh, in the connections uh, up in here. You know, just to be sure, make sure that nothing does happen. And uh, I'm gonna put this back together, put it back, everything back in here after I, I'm gonna vacuum out that. You don't need to see that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And then I think what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go ahead and um, go test. I wanted to test out some other other settings in that X, X Delete. So, we're gonna go test out the. Um, all wheel drive sport and I've been thinking about going ahead and setting up a custom tune so uh, we're gonna look into that too sport is fucking fun it allows me to get it allows me to break loose but I stay straight if that makes any sense because when I was straight rear wheel drive I would break loose and just like start going like all, you know all squirrely and shit so this is pretty nice I, I think I'm gonna probably stick with all-wheel drive sport for a little while um, yeah cuz I, I really like it okay so I went to go turn on my uh, or turn off my traction control um when i was in all-wheel drive sport and i ended up getting the the trifecta so these are the error codes that i actually got here so this one is oil deteriorated uh this one is limp mode and this one is just uh a can message and then some germans speak that i don't understand um so what i'll do is obviously wow sorry it's so loud damn that truck was loud but uh go ahead clear the faults so what we're actually gonna do though because it is having an issue with the transfer case and I don't want to mess it up and apparently there's some issues so we're gonna go back to off and that way the transfer case is spinning but is actually not being used okay so <sighs> all right so now it's back to being disabled and that means uh, I won't be getting that air, but it makes sense why we were getting that air. And I, it was literally as soon as I went to go cut off my traction control, that air popped up. So yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to get that flush because the reason why I say I'm gonna let BMW do it is because they can reset the the, uh, the module with their stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't have to worry about getting extra stuff, which I'll need it eventually, but hey, at least we know now. So hey, if you learned something, maybe you learned where the the VS something or another, the transfer case control module, maybe you learned where that was. Maybe you need to get to yours. Um, it's pretty dang simple. Uh, maybe you were, I don't know, maybe you just wanted to watch the video. Hey, I don't care. Just uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, I'll keep putting those videos up, and see you on the next one.